Hi there. Welcome back. Today's show is all about life at the cottage. Just makes me smile even thinking about it. And if you don't have a cottage, maybe you just got that special place where you go to relax and, and chill out. Well, speaking of cottages, wait till you see the cottage we found. Actually, our thanks to Marilyn at Sister Bay Trading Company up in Door County in Sister Bay. She found us this cottage. Well, you just have to see it. She actually um, helped design and, and, and decorate it. And it's just a, um, not only a great cottage, there's a really neat story behind it. So enough talk. Let's take a look. Hi, Amy. Welcome to our little bit of paradise here, our summer home. It's, uh, it's all about the view, as they say in Door County. Uh, the view of the water, the view of the stone, the view of the past history and everything that has to do with making this a home that's uh, very comfortable for us in the summertime. We've had this property in our family since uh, my grandfather bought it in 1920 for $260. He lived here and my grandma lived here, Milton and Minnie Hedin, and my parents bought it from them in 1970 and continued to run the cottages, Sunset Terrace Cottages. And we had the opportunity to live here. Actually, I lived here from when I was born until I was five years old in the upstairs of the house while my father built a house in his spare time down the street, and we moved down to that house when I was five years old. But I never left the property. I came back and helped Grandpa and Grandma with the cottages, helped them clean the windows, cut the grass, do all the things that uh, kept the cottages going. This is a labor of love. Uh, we kept, tried to keep as much of the past as we could but also incorporate new ideas of the future. The flagstone that you walked on when you came in came off the old patios. The, uh, the wood that's uh, our bar do top downstairs in the front of that came off a big cedar tree on the property. The stone pillars outside are field stone and uh, they came from mom and dad's farm. Amy, uh, this is our great room. The, the great room features a 29-foot uh, uh, high fireplace here. Uh, with arched walls and all, all out of beach stone. A little bit hard to find now, but we were able to get it from many sources by hand picking it. And uh, we had a third generation. Mike Anderson did all of the, the uh, stonework inside the house for us. And the, the cherry floors, the cherry floors you see here, you know, Door County's cherry land, so we wanted to have cherry floors. Now, Amy, let's go into the kitchen. We'll go through an, one of the arches here again that Mike Anderson built and uh, take you into the room that my wife likes also. Not as well as the bathroom, and I should have had you uh, had her describe the bathroom, but this is my wife, Sherry. The, the kitchen was a lot of her thoughts here also, as well as the bathroom, so we'll let, uh, we'll let Sherry tell you about the, her kitchen. Um, we just wanted something very simple, very easy, and I just kind of got the granite, it's called blue ice, and it has the nice little white crystals in it, and on a sunny day, unlike today, unfortunately, it kind of mimics the water. It's just nice and kind of gray and soft and flowy. And um, I didn't want anything too much with the appliances, so we had them all um, paneled from Forestville. They did a wonderful job with that. And we just did the nice Viking uh, cotton white just to kind of soften everything up. And we sit out here and have our little snacks in the afternoon sometimes when we come in off the water. We play cards for a little cocktail hour and enjoy our view. Now, Amy, let me take you into the master uh, bedroom and bathroom. In fact, the master bathroom is my, fa my wife's favorite part of the house. The master bedroom, although not big, again, beautiful views and a sitting deck off it to get the view of the lake. But as we go into the master bath, you know, we had the help here of uh, Marilyn and Wendy from Sister Bay Trading, uh, working with our builder, Forceville Builders, to really come up with what my wife thinks is uh, her particular piece of this house just a spectacular bathroom. We had the green onyx that was all pieced together and really laid out to match. We've got the overflow tub that's an effervescent tub. We've got the uh, large shower that's uh, also a steam shower. So it, it doubles as uh, both for us and uh, works very well. Amy, we're now going up to the coffee loft and going up the whale tail stairway that's open. Uh, with the railings that are very open so you can see right through them out to the lake. But this is really my favorite part of the house because in the morning, in the old house, mom and dad went out and sat in their chairs to catch the morning rays. We come up here in the morning, turn the coffee on, and uh, grab our coffee, and then go outside to our deck and sit out here and watch the morning sun come up and shine in on us. It's always a great day when the sun's shining here on our front deck. 
These flower beds are a tribute to my mom because actually when we built the house, the flower beds were right where our garage is. So we scooped the flower beds out, moved them, took care of them for a couple years, and then when the house was done, we replaced all the flowers around the gardens here and around the sides of the house so that all of mom's flowers came back and are continuing to prosper in the land that she prospered for so long. Let me show you where we entertain. It's down here in our lower level. Lower level, that's again part of the Sunset Terrace history. Uh, we've got the old Sunset Terrace uh, sign from the cottages on the wall. We've got the, a bar that's got the top of the bar was again saved by Forceville builders when we were cutting down the trees on the property. Kiln dried and all of the bar is made from the cedar trees that were on the property. You'll see the old refrigerator back again in, in the stone wall. And this refrigerator came out of one of our cottages, which is one of the General Electric classics. And actually, I worked for GE for 10 years right out of college. It's got revolving shelves, so we said we can't let this one go. We've got to keep it uh, in the family and keep it on our, <coughs> in our house. And then on the bar, we turn around, you've got an ice bucket that was in the corner. It was going to be a void corner, and Forestville helped us. Put, we put a big ice bucket from Nelson Hardware in there and insulated it and made it so we can have our uh, beer and wine right out of the corner bar. And back in the back, you can see the features that we have there, a video area, and we take our outside furniture in, and this becomes our packer party place uh, in the fall till we get ready to go to Florida. So Amy, how do you think it works? Tried to have the heritage of the past plus new ideas for the future and tried to pull it all together. We think it works pretty good, but uh, you'll have to decide. So thanks for coming. Time for Sherry and I to go for a boat ride. See you later. Bye. Next, we'll show you how to bring that cottage feel into your home. We've got some really pretty flower ideas. And later, do you love to garden? We'll take you to a beautiful cottage garden, and it's right in our backyard. You won't want to miss it, so stay with us, because we'll be right back. Watch Fox 11 Living with Amy every weekday at 9 for innovative and appetizing